It looks like we got our next team up to the starting gate. Go ahead, Lori. Hi. Uh, tell me what school you're from. Um, AACT. And what does that stand for? <laughs> Academy of Arts, Careers, and Technology. <laughs> and you're from Reno, Nevada. Yeah. Tell me your name. Morgan Strohshine. Morgan in. And I'm Daniel Jimenez. Daniel, tell me about your buggy. Uh, well, we built it in a couple months, and it's looking pretty good right now. So you've, you've seen other teams out there, some good, some bad, some haven't finished. What are you thinking? Well, I think that it's all about how hard you try, and if you have what it takes, I think you can do pretty well. I love this confidence with him. What about you? How did you prepare for the race? Uh, we did a lot of, um, like, insanity workouts, and we sweat a lot. So, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see how much you're sweating at the end of this. Right. All right. Good luck to you. I'm sorry. You want to say something else? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's just excited. He's ready to race. Bill? All right. Thanks very much, Lori. And we're here with uh, one of the – are you the team advisor or one of the, one of the team members? Uh, I'm an advisor. I, I had to check because, you know, kids grow beards very fast <laughs> these days. <laughs> and uh, this is this is Dan, team advisor for the Academy of Arts, Careers, and Technology in okay, Reno, You're Nevada. Ready. Made a yes, made a long Go. a long trip here. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a few miles. We didn't ride the buggy here, yeah, I tried the buggy here. Although it would have been very grueling to, to test their their true resolve and, and able to get the buggy here. Yeah, that would have been great to see. I think they'd be tired out by now. Well, they're making a great pace so far. Look at that, hitting, hitting 20 seconds at the top of the hill. That's That's been the pace for some of the top moon buggies so far, This uh, at least uh, for race day number one here. We think they're going to be pretty competitive. They've been working out, and they're pretty fast. Now, last year you guys came in 11th place with a time of 4 minutes and 29 seconds. And this is the, the, the top teams between, like, number one and 11. We're all in that within about 30 or 40 seconds of each other. Yeah, right. We got a Rookie of the Year award last year, and we're hoping to do better. Guys, it looks like the front left wheel has got a bend to it. We'll see it when it comes by around this curve behind us. Looks like the, the rim may have been bent a little bit. Uh-huh. There's a good shot of it there. Yep, that's that's not looking too good. So, Coach, do you have extra parts to do something with that? Oh, absolutely, that? absolutely. And the funny, the amazing thing is, though, it's still going. Yep, I, I think it'll hold up. They're, they're actually looking pretty good here. Ah, did you see the smile on her face? She's at least enjoying herself. She doesn't see the bent wheel. <laughs> That's true. Tell, tell us about your drivers here. Uh, so we, we've got Danny Jimenez and uh, Morgan Strohshine have been, have been working for, for months to, to be the riders on the team and, and help them build the buggy, but, but working, working on riding primarily, and they're, they're, they're neat, neat kids. They seem to be enjoying themselves, themselves as they uh, cross behind us at the top part of the crater, just heading now down into the lunar crater here at the Space and Rocket Center. About just shy of two minutes heading into the crater. Not bad. Yeah, I, I think they're doing pretty well. They're having fun. And hopefully that, that rim won't bend some more. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll take care of fixing that as soon as we get a chance. We've seen, we've seen rims bend in, in half, as we had mentioned earlier <laughs> that on, on the course. One, one being when they hit this wall that you're about to see as they leave the crater. Right that part of that wall, they just turn, accidentally turned right instead of left and just crimped that rim right in half. Uh, Lori looks like she's there with another team. Uh, who have you got there, Lori? I have the Ohio State University. Tell me your name. Lori Ann Beachy. Lorianne, is it? And? Uh, ben Harris. Ben? All right, Lorianne, tell me about your buggy. You, you kind of got a penalty. Is it a little too big? Um, I hope not. <laughs> All right. Well, we heard you might have gotten a penalty. Maybe that's a lie. <laughs> it's true. I think it's true. You think it's true? Okay. <laughs> right. down, though. No, no, you can't let that bring you down. you, you got to race the course before that. That's right. That's right. Tell me about your buggy. Uh... This is it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're at a loss for words. They're, you know, it's hard to talk to these kids at the starting line because they're getting mentally focused for the oh, race. Oh, yeah. But we're going to let them go ahead and take to the course as we see the other team headed back. The Reno Nevada team is headed to the finish line. So, Bill? All right. Thanks very much, Laura. Yeah, it's kind of hard when you're to talk to a team when they're trying to get mentally focused on, on racing. They've, they've, they've moved beyond caring what the Moon Bucky's about. They just wanted to race now. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got Academy of Arts, Careers, and Technology from uh, Reno, Nevada, making good time here. Should be good enough for at least a top 10 finish. We're, we're hoping so. Yeah. Look at that. Even with a bent rim, made it around the course in an unofficial time of 3 minutes and 38 seconds. You should be proud of that. That's, that's fast.
The next award will be the Featherweight Award, which will be presented by Ron Creel, who is a retired NASA engineer and one of the original Lunar Rover design team members, and Sonny Maria, the original program manager. The Featherweight Award will be presented to the lightest weight high school and college vehicles, which have a total run time, including assembly and penalties, of less than or equal to 10 minutes. For the high school division, the winner of the Featherweight Award is Team 19, Academy of Arts, Careers, and Technology at 92 pounds.